Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Bikes on a beautiful day here in Flanders. I'm about to go for a ride, but just like I'll put on a helmet and knee pads to protect myself, I'll also be protecting the bike. AMS has sent me their full frame kit. This is the clear model, um, so it doesn't really show when you put it on, but they also have some really cool designs that you can put on your bike if you have like a boring looking bike. I actually wanted to go with like the wolf design first on this one, but I got the clear kit from AMS. Uh, and actually, I think it'll also look good because there's actually a little bit more design on this bike than I thought there would be. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but there are already some scratches on my frame. So you really want to be doing this with a brand new frame um, because anything that's scratched underneath is not going to magically fix itself, even though it may hide it a little bit. Um, but anyway, just got to really wipe everything down so there's no grease left on your frame. And then you can put the stickers on. <laughs> Right, so as you can see it's a universal kit so this will fit on pretty much any bike um, and you get different sort of cutouts for it so this is going to be a top tube a down tube i'm guessing with my bike this will be the chain stays and this will be the seat stays and then i'll keep the third one maybe for the seat stay on the back so when rocks hit it flying off of the rear wheel that will be protected as well um, pretty simple clean your bike cut these out or just pull them off and then you go from the center and then work your way out just a double A4 or an A3 sheet of this plasticky stuff with the stickers on there. And this will be the honeycomb frame protection that has a bit of texture to it. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, so it should really protect your frame nicely without having mud stick to it or anything like that. Feels really hard, so hopefully it won't scratch at all. All right, so I've gone ahead and used a little bit of masking tape to really position this protective pad exactly where I want it to be um, because I really want to make sure that it's exactly where the little strap will be when you're using an uplift, for example. Uh, like shuttle services will usually have like a rubber band um, going over your top tube and that's where it starts scratching like the scratches I have. So I just make sure it's positioned perfectly central and exactly where I want it. And now I can start installing it. Okay, so the first thing I notice is this is super sticky. So you want to make sure it is perfectly positioned as soon as you touch it. And these smaller bits don't really work with the masking tape technique. So we'll do this by eye. All right, so I just stickered up the entire bike. I've gone and protected right here where my heel rubs a lot and here as well. Um, interesting thing, the protective sticker was slightly longer than my chainstay. So I did just cut it with some scissors to match this weld. Seems to look all right. Um, and the edges don't feel like they're gonna start peeling off or anything. I use the extra little bits to protect places where my cables may rub or where you have your, your pants rubbing, for example. Um, and then the down tube over here, the sticker set doesn't really, or the uh, protective sticker set, I should probably say, doesn't really show all that much. Um, I don't know if you guys can really see it on camera. Um, there are spots where there's a little bit of air trapped underneath. Um, so here, for example, there's a little bit of an air bubble. You can just, if you spend some time like applying this properly, you're not going to have air bubbles. Um, now, obviously I can't really talk for how this will stay on. You know, if you pressure wash it, will it come off? Um, will it discolor after a, a long time in the sun? I can't really say that yet. Um, so if in the comments below you see a comment, um, saying don't buy this, it discolors, then it will discolor. If you don't see a comment like that a couple of months from now, it's probably fine. Um, so I've just gone and protected the entire bike, even 
the linkage here where again you get some leg rub um, and also oh i've got the slipperiest floor ever also right here where i should probably have had it before i put a little uh, one of these arrows that i had left over because they do send quite a lot of these stickers with this pack so i've gone and protected where i usually crash as well Anyway, let's go riding. So guys, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. While I do think the frame protection is really cool, I'm not really the type of person to really use it. I never really use a case on my phone. And to be honest, I've never put protection on my bike frame. The real reason I reached out to AMS is actually in my pocket, a really tiny little plastic thing. This is a pocketable kickstand. AMS makes this. And I think for YouTubers or Instagram influencers, um, or basically anyone who wants to take a nice picture of their bike without looking in the woods for hours to find the right stick, this is a lifesaver. Let me show you what it does. Here it is, this is the all mountain style kickstand and I think it's the best thing ever. So it's super compact, really light. This is definitely under hundred grams, so easy to put in your pocket, in your backpack, whatever. And the way it works is it just slides out like so and this bit part goes over your crank and this is like a little stand. Now at this point, if you have a bike with a fairly low pedal, you just slide it on to this one or this one and it clips on. Now this is a downhill bike, the bottom bracket is really high. So you can actually take one part off, put it on top of the other, then put this thing on here. It's actually a lot more difficult to do when you're trying to film it as well. Um, and if this still isn't high enough, you can then go around the back. There's a little knob here, undo it. And now this telescopes out as well, like so. It's even indexed so you can remember which setting to have it at for your bike. Lock it up. And then this piece goes over your crank like this. And just like that, your bike now has a kickstand. Excuse me if the following footage is a little bit shaky. I didn't bring the gimbal, but this is just the best thing ever, isn't it? Just my bike standing freely, no stick needed, just a super lightweight plastic thingy that you can always have with you. It may seem almost, you know, funny that a product like this exists because the market for this has to be incredibly small. But honestly, this is my favorite bit of bike tech that I've seen in a really long time. It just works. Just no fuss, no stupid marketing around it or anything. It just works. Just a piece of plastic, you put it on your crank and now you can start taking amazing pictures of your bike. Just like that. I mean, if this isn't brilliant, then I don't know what is anymore. Um, now, I'm just gonna go back on the, um, the protective stuff that I was talking about earlier. I did get all the little bubbles out, by the way, you can just keep on rubbing it and because it's got this hexagonal texture to it there's always a path for the air to get out so it, it's actually really nice. I've also tried to purposely rub my leg on the side here where it overlaps the top a little bit to see if it would come off but it's actually a really strong adhesive so I don't think it'll come off. Again keep an eye on the comments if you want to know if it discolors when it's in the sun for too long. Um, anyway that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, pop them below. I'll read them, reply to them. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.